Hello, my name is Kenneth. I'm the lead front-end developer on RaceUp, and I'm here to tell you a bit about the new features that we're rolling out with version 2.0. All right, let's have a look at the wheelbase menus. So if you go in here, you have our center calibration page where you can see how the, the current direction of the wheel is facing. And you can, of course, set your new center if you want to. Now it's a bit off. Let's do it like that. And then down here, you can save to wheelbase. It's a bit different in here compared to the other menus because in here you have a, a universal save button. That's why we have this line down here. Um, and the reason we do this is that the wheelbase saves a bunch of settings at the same time, so it takes a little while. So it can be a bit frustrating if you're clicking a button or something like that, and then it has to save every time. So let's go to the talk page. In here you have presets that you can select. So right here we have three presets that we've set up already. And you can edit the name of the preset. You can, of course, delete the preset. I'm not going to do that because I'm, I need to use this right now, but it'll, it'll delete the the preset that's selected at the moment. And you can, of course, also do everything in here, like edit and delete. You can set the wheelbase into high torque mode. You have a warning right here, so you don't you know, damage yourself or anything like that. Just click accept. You can hear the wheelbase make a little sound. These are basic torque settings. And in here, you can we have some presets for different damping settings and smoothing settings. And you can, of course, change the basic stuff, like uh, overall force and steering range and all that. Um, these are our presets that we think are, are good uh, by default. You can, of course, go into advanced settings and set everything up. So if you're doing, you've been doing sim racing for a while and know exactly what you want, you can get it exactly how you want in there. Uh, if you do hover over these uh, different sliders, you can get tooltips that show you exactly how each slider affects uh, your driving experience. And you can, of course, do the same on the advanced page. So we have tooltips that will tell you exactly how everything works. Of course, if you're in doubt, you can just contact our support and they'll be happy to help you with uh, anything that's harder to understand or, or not described too well for you in here. So go to the LED page. You can, of course, change your LED color to whatever you want. So select an LED color. This is exactly the same as our pedals. And of course, the, the brightness slider right here. And then you just click Save to Wheelbase. Same in here, of course, like you change the setting here. The, the button comes up, you click it, and it's saved. And other than that, we have some safety options. So you can do automatic centering. You can see here that it centers automatically once I change that. And it also has hands-off detection. Of course, you can't see that right now, but it'll have a warning sound that pops up every time it detects that there's no hands on the wheel and you're putting force into it in some way. And then, of course, we have our sound notifications. It's probably going to be more options in here in the future, but at the moment it's just going to be like the basic options. And then you have the info button. In here you can update your wheelbase, and if your torque gets turned off for whatever reason, you can see what you have to do to get it turned on again. That's pretty much it. This was a quick look at our new wheelbase menus. Uh, if you want to know more about the new pedal menus, new steering wheel menus, click on the link wherever they put it, and uh, they'll take you there. Yeah. <laughs>